these trees that we're, that we're harvesting out of the river are not what you'd call huge trees in diameter. I mean, a, a 25 or 30 inch long leaf pine log is a very, very old tree. Uh, what I see when I look at a log, I, I look at the end grain to see if I can detect the, the fracture that's usually inherent in any of these logs. And that, that's my first job is to, to, to figure that where that, that defect is and try to work around it to produce good boards that don't have that defect. Now, I, yeah, yesterday when we were sawing that log, I, when I saw it coming out of the pond, I could tell that it was curling. I couldn't tell that looking at it in the pond, but it started to, they, they had bumps. You could see that tree in the forest, and you can see, at a distance, you can see the bumps, but then the bark is frayed, not, not frayed, but raised up around those bumps, so they look really shaggy. And it, it occurs in short trees, tall trees, big trees, skinny trees. It doesn't really have a, I mean, it's not all big trees that are curly. And lots of times the curly is just in the sap. That, that that tree hasn't had that genetic anomaly long enough for it to produce curly heartwood, heartwood to the sapwood. So um, <coughs> that's how it occurs. It's, it's my job to try to uh, to render it into a, a usable form. Uh, yeah, most of our business is for furniture, cabinetry, flooring is our, our main line business. So it's my job to prepare the material for the, in the format of what we're trying to do as far as manufacturing.